Circulated tumor cells have been described as associated with bad outcome in patients with advanced breast cancer and other tumor types. So for many years, the, this has been known, and uh, the clinical use has somewhat been uh, very difficult because it's never associated with a specific uh, uh, pro predictive information. So we felt that because it's quite established that the prognostic value of uh, CTC in advanced breast cancer is known, we wanted to have a very definitive study to confirm that when you have a CTC, not only you have a bad outcome, but you have a different disease. So we took data from large European courts, almost 2,000 cases, uh, approximately 500 cases from uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center, the study retrospectively, for which the test were used clinically, and we combined the two and we asked the question, uh, can we identify patients that have worse outcome in the overall population, in the de novo established disease, in the estrogen positive and the different three subtypes, irrespective of cytorecurrence, and a uh, line of therapy because if that was the case we do have two different diseases that's the basis of staging so we did exercise as i say almost 2500 and we we were moving from calling this more than five or less than five ctc to stage four indolent and stage four aggressive and we uh, essentially had demonstrated statistically significant that the stage four aggressive uh, has much worse outcome in patients that have de novo disease, much worse outcome in the old population, in first, second line, or more line of therapy in the different subtypes, and in visceral versus bone disease as well. So it is clear that it is a different disease. Now this means a lot. means that obviously when we try to propose to our patients standard of care that is less aggressive or more aggressive, we have to consider it in different biology.